Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about how to view particular data. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload one new video, you will be getting notification on it. And uh, do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So in previous video, we have fetched the data from the database. So this is our index page. To view the data in a model format, we have to use jQuery for this. When we are using jQuery Ajax, we need the link of jQuery first to be included. So first what we'll do is we'll just tell jQuery CDN link. So here you have jQuery CDN link. I'll give you guys the link in the description. Or else you can just type jQuery CDN, you'll get. So the latest year is jQuery core 3.6.4. Let us take the minified version. So here we have the script. So we are going to integrate this script. So let us copy this and go to footer. So we have all the scripts in footer, right? So let us go to footer. Above this bootstrap JS link, bootstrap bundle.min.js, paste this jQuery. Paste it. That's it. Now this link will be included in your index page because we have included here. To check that if the jQuery is working, here when we click on the view data, we have to get all the data. So what we'll do is let us give a, a ash here and give a class name. So I'm going to tell view data. Copy this class name and we'll go scroll down here after footer. Add a script. So all the jQuery JavaScript will be written here inside script. First we have to tell jq doc and inside this doc we'll have jq click okay so when this view data is clicked what has to happen so here for selector we have given the class name so add a dot and paste that class name if you are using class we will be using dot similar way if you are using id we will be using hash don't forget this now we will just Console log and check this. Console log. Hello. So once when that button is clicked, we have to get hello. Let us go back to the pop-up model. Reload. Let us inspect. Go to console. Here, when I click on this view data, I have to get hello. Let me click on dummy. I'm getting hello. Let me click on Anu because it's of the same message. It is displaying here two. When I click on this one, it will display four. So how many times you're clicking the same thing. So let us comment this now. Now what we have to do is we should get the ID, right? We should get the ID first. So what we have to do is once this button is clicked, we need the ID. For that, dollar this dot. We have to find the closest value. So the closest value is TR. Okay. Again, the closest of TR is TD. So dollar this is this class. This class of closest. Of what? Closest of TR. Again, what is the closest of TR? We have TD. So here, closest of TD will be finding. So for this TD, we have to give a class or ID. You can give anything. So I'm giving a class. So I'll tell this as user ID. I'm telling this as user ID. Class name is user ID. I'll copy this user ID and tell here find. So here I'm using class. So I have to use dot and paste that class name. Dot val. We will not be using val. 
will be using text because val is for the input field dot text okay so now this is done let us store this inside a variable so where user id is equal to i have stored this inside a variable now let us console log this and check cut this paste it here instead of hello copy paste this user now what has to happen is when i click on user 1 1 has to get printed that particular id has to get printed i am clicking on user 1 here i am getting 1 when i click on 2 i am getting 2 when i again click on 1 i am getting 1 3 again 1 2 okay so we have we are getting this perfectly after this what we have to do is command this we are going to call the ajax so tell jq ajax and here make the type to method and the method is going to be post here url is nothing but where that action is going to perform so let's give code.php and data type is not required in this data click view button so if this is true we'll take id so user id we have stored in this user id variable let us copy paste that's it here we'll be printing the response now we are going to take this name along with the user id and go to code.php with the post method so now let's copy this view click button and go to code.php with the post method so code.php this was our save data code here we'll write it for the fetch data so is set of dollar post of that click view button if that button is clicked we we want the id right so copy this user id and tell here dollar id is equal to dollar post of id if you want to echo you can echo this dollar id let us go reload now and here we'll just tell console dot log of this response that we are getting okay now let us go reload click on user 3 i'm getting 3 if i again click on this user 3 it is telling that indicating with that 2 telling user 3 was clicked twice click once again user 3 you can see 3 so how many times you are clicking that has been displayed user 2 and user 1 okay now what we have to do is here let us command this and we need code for fetching the data so in previous video we have done about how to fetch the data from the database we will be copying the same code instead of typing it again and again so let's move on to index.php here you can see from the connection we have but here in code.php we already have the connection so connection is not required from fetch query till this open we'll copy and paste it here okay again don't worry about the errors that is because the closing parenthesis is missing again go to index and from here this else part let us copy and paste it here okay remove this tr and inside else part let me not confuse you with this inside else part i will echo you can do one thing is that store this id in other variable and uh, show like echo like dollar let us tell this as the result result is equal to given h4 tag here 
and this has to be single quotes and print your data no record found okay give semicolon here so this you can do it directly also if you don't want you can just remove this we are just echoing that's it if there is no data we, we are just echoing that's it we are not going to do anything if there is data we will just echo once again in an h6 tag i'm going to echo so here we have to concatenate for that here give a semicolon here what we are going to do is dollar row of id okay so now if you see we need particular users data we don't need all the data so here we have to change fetch query select star from test where id is equal to dollar id make sure you give this so that you get particular users data and here we have printed id we require not only the id but the name email phone all those data so what we'll do is copy paste this we are displaying this in an html format give name email copy paste once again give this as id sorry give this as phone so now that's it we have displayed here but these things should be displayed inside this right inside this so we'll command this and if you want you can just reload and click on this data you're getting this data here in an html format but if you want this in a model format we have to use that model right so we'll go to get bootstrap okay we are in model only scroll down we'll take this model copy this model go to index here we have insert model below this paste this model and change the name to view model okay similarly copy and paste it this is just not to confuse okay here i've given view model not view model remove this so this command line is just for the understanding purpose now what we have to do is here these datas are in html right so we have to display this in an html format itself so what we'll do is here we have one function dollar dot html and pass the response here for this html we will create one class and we'll name this as view user data so this is our class name give a semicolon now let us go create this class inside model so inside model only we have to display right so here we are going to show in model body so here we'll create one view so class let us change this class name to scroll down view user data copy this and paste it here okay now all the data that we are getting will be shown inside this in an html format after this we have your example model let us give that to view user model copy this view user model this is an id so copy this and here we have to show that so what we are going to do is dollar that is an id so we have to use hash and paste that id and here we tell model function all this function is in built in jquery okay and here we are just telling show show those datas now 
let us command this or else again and again we'll be getting that and now let us go test our code reload and click on this dummy so you're getting dummy so here we'll design this properly first we'll take off that model ka thing go to code.php here tell user id full name email address phone number okay so we have designed this properly and here inside model we have the save right let us remove that this is not required actually close let it be there that's it now let us go reload once again so view data of user 3 you are getting okay we will change this model title but we are getting the expected output which is user id is 3 user name is dummy and email phone number so close this okay now one change which was view data view user data now again reload click on user 1 we are getting user id is 1 full name sneha sneha at gmail.com and the phone number so this is how we fetch a particular user's data using a model with jquery ajax so i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching